Okay, so we're gonna talk about the Simplicity Powder Injector, also known as the Simplicity, Simplicity Pump. We're gonna go through the components of it. The middle fitting here, which is a eight millimeter fitting, again, that's your FM fitting, that's your main air that drives the powder volume, how much powder comes out the gun. This is your FS fitting or your supplemental air. That's what drives velocity coming out of the gun and in the powder hose, which prevents powder from settling out. These two fittings are what's called one-touch check valves. A check valve functions by allowing air to go one way, but not the other way. So these are specific one-touch check valve fittings. They should not be replaced with standard one-touch fittings or any other fitting. You must have a check valve. If you do not have a check valve, you can have powder flowing back up one line and into the control box and cause a lot of damage. So if these fail, these are good for millions of cycles. If they fail or if you get oil in your compressed air line, these will get gummed up and they'll stop functioning. You should replace these with factory original check valves. The other side of the injector is the, the hose side. So you got your hose barb here. I'm gonna take off the outer housing, pull the hose barb off, what you have now, this is called your injector throat pipe. This is what causes the powder to flow. So in the end of this throat pipe, there's an opening with the transitional slope. We blow compressed air down the middle of this, and that compressed air going down the middle causes a suction that pulls powder up and pushes it out to the gun. This is a precision engineered piece of, of plastic. It's something you've got to keep your eye on on a regular basis. You want to look for any sign of wear inside of this diameter. Any wear at all changes the entire characteristic of the pump. So if you start seeing erosion uh, or wear, uh, abrasive wear in here, you're going to want to pull this piece out and replace it with a new one. Again, you could see wear here or you could see wear on this outer edge. Okay, so this is a precision machine piece of plastic. This is your injector throat pipe. The entry angle, the entry diameter, the exit angle, and the exit diameter are all engineered to, to deliver specific pumping characteristics. When you see wear on this, simply replace it. The other thing you want to look at when you're looking at your injector is down inside of this hole here, or it can be seen through here, is a little brass nozzle fitting. This is what gives you the design air velocity that goes into the Venturi throat here that creates the suction pressure to pull powder up and send it to the gun. What you'll see from time to time is down in here, when you inspect your pump, you're gonna to wanna to look for impact fusion down on that nozzle. Impact fusion can actually start closing off the end of the nozzle, and when that happens, you have no air coming through, you get no pumping. So you're gonna to wanna to inspect that on a regular basis and look for impact fusion and, and clean it if you see it. Okay, this is your Simplicity powder gun. We're gonna go through the different parts of it and talk about that. Um, obviously, here is where your powder hose connects. Here is where your, uh, your cleansing air connects. And here's where your gun cable connects. This chrome piece back here is your ground. As long as your hand is on this gun and touching this, you are grounded so you won't have any electrostatic issues personally. If you're wearing a rubber glove, which we don't recommend, however some people put rubber gloves on because powder dries their hands out. Powder is hygroscopic, it means it absorbs moisture from the air. So powder will pull the moisture out of your hands and dry them. People will use latex gloves. If you're gonna do that, cut the palm of the glove on the hand that you spray so that you get ground connection to your skin. All right, this is your trigger here. Simple trigger on and off. This is your uh, powder pipe plug. Pull this off, this allows you to inspect the powder path inside the gun. What you're doing is you're looking down here, you're looking for any kind of impact fusion or buildup that would cause the diameter to be reduced. Anytime you see that, you need to clean it out. This plug has two O-rings on the end I don't know if you saw, but when I was pu pulling it out, I was twisting it at the same time as I'm pulling it out. If you tend to pull it straight out like this, 
there's a good chance you'll pull these O-rings off. And once these O-rings are off, there's no guarantee you're not going to get powder fill in the inside of the gun. Always want to have both O-rings on this. The other end of the gun is your nozzle end. You pull off your outer head, then you have your actual nozzle, and then we have our electrode holder. The nozzle itself has a rotating piece at the top of it, so this gives you an adjustment of the fan pattern, the width of the fan pattern coming out of the gun. So with the, the ring position so that it's got the edges closed, you're going to have a very narrow fan pattern. Then you have a secondary adjustment with a small slice off of the ring that's going to get you a little wider fan pattern. And finally, there's a much larger section here which is going to give you a real wide fan pattern. So you can taper your fan pattern to whatever your need is for the parts you're cleaning or painting. This is your electrode holder. Real quick lesson about this. This black plastic, that is conductive plastic. That is what brings the voltage from the end of the gun. Right on the end of the gun, there's a little spring-loaded clip. That has your 100,000 volts on it. That comes in contact with this black plastic. That brings the 100,000 volts into the electrode. You see the tip of the electrode is right here. If this pin becomes stuck down in, you're going to lose connection between your high voltage source and your black plastic. That's a problem. You want to make sure you always carefully clean this pin off and don't let powder get down inside of it. The other thing we talked about uh, connecting up to the gun is the cleansing air. The cleansing air blows air up this tube here around the electrode and blows any kind of powder buildup on the electrode or down in the tube, blows it off. How does air get up here? If you look on this black plastic piece, you'll see a little valley in here, and then there's a hole right here. The air that comes into the gun here comes out this hole right here on the gun. That hole aligns itself with this ring, and then that ring, the air then goes from this ring up and out the end of the uh, electrode holder. It's really important when you're cleaning up your gun that you blow off everything really well and especially target that hole so that you blow out any powder that might have accumulated inside it, inside of here. Okay, so now you have your electrode holder and you have your nozzle. When you put this back together, there is an alignment. There's a proper alignment. If you don't align these properly, they don't sit nested in together like this. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure when you put it together that you rotate it until you find that nest nesting point. Now you've got it assembled. It goes back on the gun and then your outer head goes on like so. Now you can turn this outer head any way you want to align the fan pattern either vertically or horizontally. And then once you get it in the position you want, simply tighten down on it and you're locked in. So here I've got a vertical fan pattern, so I'm gonna be spraying this way with a big swath.